Why recasting Rick and Morty after the Justin Roiland controversy is a mistake. Okay. Did you... Like, I know a little bit about this. I think it's absolutely insane because this guy is the show. My understanding, he is just the show. There is no... I, I realize there's a big group of people that work on it. And I appreciate all the effort that goes into something. But your work is going to be hard for people to appreciate in the absence of how they perceive the thing. Mm-hmm. If you might be, it might be sabotage regardless. Yeah. Damn. Check that. That's a nice looking later case ad over there. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, whoa, <laughs> that uh, coffee color on that Z fold. I just refreshed, but okay. that was pretty nice. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Sometimes there is such a strong personality connection that people just have a hard time moving on. They, they, they almost grieve. They almost, they have a hard time turning off that, that lens with which they're now seeing it. And so it might be a ton of work and you might just be having this uphill battle because you're trying to maintain it. Now, I, again, I'm not the expert on this particular show, but my understanding is he is Rick and Morty. Yeah, the voice. Yeah. Well, don't, and, yeah. you know, the co-founder of The this, creator. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a big deal. Rick and Morty, which Royland co-created with Dan Harmon in 2013, is one of Adult Swim's biggest hits, and Royland is the face, or rather voice, of the show. Now both of the titular characters are being recast with new actors. This is an understandable move on Adult Swim's part, especially given the studio is only halfway through production of a 70-episode order of the show, which was renewed back in 2018. The accusations uh, against him are serious, no doubt uh, that you have um, assault uh, or um, confinement. Yeah. Like it's a really weird uh, story as it would have to be. And you have here a, you know, large corporation with business interests and advertisers. And it's, of course, mm-hmm. always more complex than initially meets the eye. There's so many considerations to be made and emails that they're fielding of people saying, I want them off the show. I want them on the show. And. There's no perfect solution because mm. people are going to be uncomfortable both ways. They're going to be uncomfortable, uncomfortable him hanging around. That'll be one group. And then the other group's going to be uncomfortable with him mm. being gone and still supporting the show. That'll be the other group. So it's just it's an unfortunate circumstance all around. But I do think it, sometimes a person can be so affiliated with a particular uh, project that it just becomes nearly impossible to completely untangle them. Yeah. That's my feeling.